thanks to Abington for sponsoring this video. Say the word Tesla or Tesla, and it probably brings up different meanings to different people. So if you're a business, you'll know that Interbrand, the brand consulting leader, ranked Tesla as the best global brand of 2021, reporting a 184% jump in brand value last year. And if you're a techie, you're probably following both the progress and controversy around Tesla's autopilot software, among other headline grabbing stories. And if you're an Elon Musk fan, or hater, you're probably all over his Twitter feed for your daily insight, amusement, or possible outrage. Either way, Tesla's brand has never been stronger than right now, and the crazy part, if you're a casual follower, you may be overlooking that Tesla might be shifting its attention a bit, and it has nothing to do with cars. If we were to introduce new vehicles, our total vehicle output would decrease. This is a very important point that a lot of people do not understand. Big thanks to Abington for sponsoring this video. So as you guys you guys know we've been sharing one car for the past year as we waited for our Model X and this e-bike has been a lifesaver for us. Aventon makes high performance e-bikes with affordable pricing. In fact, Forbes.com recently listed Aventon as the most bang for your buck e-bike. I've been riding the Solterra step through and if you've ever thought about getting an e-bike, I think that you will really like the bikes Aventon has to offer. They're high quality, easy to use, and they have amazing customer service. I love the LCD color display and the app sync functionality. The app can also track all my rides and even connect with other riders. You get a throttle that can take you up to 20 miles an hour and pedal assist goes up to 28 miles an hour. So it's perfect for getting around town and running errands too and it has an impressive range of 41 miles on a single charge. My Seafoam Green Bike gets tons of compliments and I love the simple, sleek and lightweight frame too. To learn more about Aventon and its e-bikes, check them out in the link in the description down below. All right, let's get back to it. So for Tesla, cars may be just a small part of a very large pie in a few years. So one of these products that Tesla is working on right now that could use being revolutionized is something that 90% of people in the US are using almost every single day. Of course, the HVAC systems have traditionally been the most energy demanding products in your home and with record heat waves all around the world, including Tesla's new home in Texas, it makes a lot of sense that Elon plans on getting into the HVAC game. The HEPA filters inside its cars can remove 99.7% of dust, pollen, mold, and bacteria and they've been able to make it so efficient that on newer models, the impact on range has become almost negligible. So last year, Elon announced that Tesla was working on a software update to make cars HVAC systems quieter and someone asked him about home systems. Elon replied, it's on the future product list. He's also previously talked about Tesla making an HVAC system that's super efficient to where it saves energy, cleans the air with HEPA filtration and even can create clean water. And the next product that Tesla has recently hinted at is a solar range extender trailer. Tesla featured this as part of its exhibit at the 2022 iDean Expo in Hanover, Germany. Tesla and VW were just among a few companies that were at the event designed for teens and young adults to showcase potential products that these companies were aspiring to work towards. Of course, what everyone was talking about is what Tesla brought to the event, which was a solar range extender trailer with the extendable panels and a Starlink dish. Turns out the 3.2 kilowatt solar panels folded out and according to Tesla, the trailer housed a battery pack and 240 volt outlets to supply energy to EVs or for machinery with a design to be as efficient and lightweight as possible. It's clear that this is a prototype, but we know for a fact that Elon has expressed interest in something like this for its cars for a while now. Following the Cybertruck unveil in 2019, he said Tesla would probably build a range extender for the Cybertruck in the form of a solar tonneau cover that can generate about 15 miles of range a day. He also said that the addition of a fold-out solar wings could likely improve the range by about 30 to 40 miles a day. And earlier this year, we learned about Airstream's eStream concept trailer, which showed a range extender setup with a battery pack built into the trailer. So I don't know about you guys, but I think that this would be such a cool addition for pretty much any EV out there. Next, while Tesla has said there's no new cars coming 
this year, it's pretty clear that Elon's been feeling the itch to test the waters a bit. More than a few times, he's actually mentioned his interest to bring an electric van to the market. And most recently, just a few weeks ago, he once again brought up Tesla's interest in designing a highly configurable robo-van. When he was asked by Tesla owner Silicon Valley if it was possible to have an offering bigger than a Model X, Elon just responded with a wink emoji. This is something that he's brought up time and time again. Early last year on an earnings call, he said, quote, Tesla is definitely going to make an electric van at some point. Then in the fall of last year, during an all hands meeting with employees, he said that RoboVan would not only be capable of transporting large numbers of people, it would also be designed in such a way that people with disabilities could get in and out easily. These renders are courtesy of a viewer of this channel, All in Art. Elon even acknowledged these renderings saying, not bad, it's high time that the future looked like the future. And during the Cyber Rodeo event this past spring, he also emphasized that Tesla was making a dedicated robo-taxi for its planned self-driving rideshare service, saying simply that the design would be futuristic. And lastly, and no, it is not the Tesla cell phone or the motorcycle, those are not happening, but we've got to talk about this one product because we know the Tesla team is always pushing the boundaries on tech. But according to Elon, this one product is so critical to Tesla that he's gone as far as to say it's the most important product development undertaken by his team right now. The humanoid robot, which used to be called Tesla Bot, but is now called Optimus, has become such a big deal that the change of priority priorities has become a big surprise to a lot of people. So of course customers have been waiting three years for the semi, two years for the Roadster, and one year for Cybertruck. So a lot of people seem to think this is just another distraction for a company that's already scrapped for resources, especially since there are already companies like Boston Dynamics that have been focusing their entire efforts on robots for years. With Tesla's Optimus robot though, you're getting a human assistant robot that uses AI to power its every move using the same powerful chips and computing powers as Tesla's full self-driving to do it all. Even though it might look silly to some people and look like a mannequin, it does aim to bring next-gen features to everyone. So Elon touted it by saying that it would do the boring, dangerous, and repetitive things that people don't like to accomplish, even suggesting that it could help solve the labor shortage. He recently said he's considering programming Optimus to be more than just a humanoid robot for performing useful tasks and it could potentially develop a unique personality and be a companion of sorts. Hmm. He even said, quote, it could make an incredible buddy like C-3PO or R2-D2. So this has become such a priority for Elon that he recently even postponed the annual AI day from August 19th to September 30th, saying Tesla could have a working humanoid sooner than planned and the first working prototype could hit the stage in a matter of months. According to the debut from last year, Optimus will only be able to go five miles an hour and will lift up to 45 pounds or deadlift up to 150 pounds. So what's really interesting to me about all this is that Elon has said that the robot has the potential to be more significant than the vehicle business over time, adding that in the future, physical work will be a choice. Talking about subjects like universal basic income, an idea that's grown in popularity in recent years as AI and automation continues to improve. All right guys, thanks for watching, and as always, a lot of time and effort goes into writing and editing these videos. So if you learned something new or enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe. Also, be sure to check out our website Site, it's kimjava.com for our high quality Tesla inspired merch. There's the popular Circle Square Cybertruck tees, and we've recently added a whole new line of Cyber Summer and Destination charging shirts for men, women, and kids. So be sure to check them out, and we will catch you guys next time. And we'll lift up to 45 pounds or deadlift up, or deadlift up to 150 pounds. Deadlift, sorry. I'm, I have dead lips right now, I'm talking so much, okay. Next time on It's Kim Java. Oh my God, there it is. There it is.